forward to this next run, it is Everhood. And uh, let me get the subtitle, An Ineffable Tale of the Inexpressible Divine Moments of Truth. We're doing pacifist percent on normal difficulty, so Clover, good luck, and take it away. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Paulo Star. Welcome, everybody. I'm Clover, and today we're doing Everhoods, and I want to start right away, but before we do that, uh, Paulo Star, we had a bit war going on for the language. Indeed, we had. So if you give me a moment here, let me just very quickly set this as closed. Yes, all of this is closed, and we'll do one quick refresh. And I can tell you the language we'll be playing at is... Japanese. Japanese, all right. 10 euros for Japanese, two for French. English and Chinese didn't score a single euro. So, good luck. All right. Uh, so this is new game. Then I want to overwrite this. Yes. Uh, I forgot if there's a select confirmation here. Uh, so, I think there is. No, there's not. Okay, start time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So we st right, uh, straight up start up by actually mashing the A button and holding left because there's a confirmation uh, and mashing through the text is actually faster than just normally going through it. Um, so yeah, this is Everhood and Everhood starts off pretty weird. We are made of wood, we are red colored, as in we have a red cape, red hat, uh, and soon um, Gnome with blue clothing will come and steal one of our arms. So, yeah, we don't like getting stuff stolen of us, mostly if it's our body parts. So, yeah, we want to get that back. So, uh, we're going to change him, but uh, you, you will see now he's going to steal it. Oh, there is black. He brought a sack with him. Look, arm. So, let me explain how running works in this game. Um, double tapping one side will make it run. Uh, but you can use the both joysticks and the D-pad. So, uh, and left and right inputs have um, priority over uh, up and down. So I will be utilizing that a lot. So first we go in here, and then we're going to follow him. And then we talk with this frog. And you're going to see this frog a few times in the run. It's totally not important though. Totally not important. But uh, this is your obligated tutorial. How does this game work? So, uh, let's see. Oh, A is jumping, okay, and left to right. Okay. So there is an achievement in this game for making a, num a certain amount of spin rolls, which is what I'm doing right here. And of course there's, uh, hey, you didn't get hit, so good job, here is an achievement. Achievement, which is still missing a few of, sadly. But you will understand later on why I'm still missing a few of them. Because yeah, this is only the tutorial level, so it's not that hard, but it, it will become hard later. So anyway, the, the songs are pretty good. Um, I do want to give them a quick heads up. Um, this game is image sensitive. Um, so if you are... Um, yeah, if you cannot really... Or if you're vulnerable to that, or how you want to say it, uh, I recommend just putting this music up and not always watch on the screen because it can get flashy later on. So if um, tech also could that in chat, just in case people missing it. Like the last thing we want to have is uh, people getting a seizure or something from watching an amazing cool run with amazing sound. So as you see, it's different colors. Uh, they don't really matter what color it is. It's uh, it's whatever. Okay, and where? Oh, <laughs> he tricked me. I thought he was done. Now he's done. So that's the first boss. Do you want to call it the boss? We call it the boss, you know. And the lanterns are our safe points. We don't need those. So we're just going to skip over them. And now we see him 
going that way. So we're like, yeah, we're going to follow him again. So this is mostly going right. And then we're going up. And then we see him going into the club. But if we would talk with him now, it would, he would say, you need money to get in there. You need schmeckles. And we don't have schmeckles. So, where do you get money? Well, an ATM. Who wants our soul? So, uh, yeah, I, I don't like giving my soul. Do you, Polister, to get money? Oh, no, absolutely not. I'm not that much of a sellout. Yeah. So, uh, we, we're just going to fight him, I guess, then. Maybe he will drop some money when uh, we're done fighting. And uh, no, fighting does not mean killing. That's it, that's it. Because how would I damage him, right? I have no way of damaging him. I, I can only dodge. No attacky, only dodgy. So, uh, Polister, if you have anything to say, feel free to uh, say something while uh, I'm just uh, doing my jumpies. All right, thank you very much. I can definitely take it over for a moment. Uh, so, as you might have noticed, everybody, we are ever so slightly behind schedule. Uh, thankfully, we have some fail safe set up in the schedule for exactly this reason, in the form of setup buffers. A couple runs in the schedule, well, one specifically, that... When we, uh, when we go overestimate, we'll probably be thrown out, and that is exactly what is going to happen right now. So, uh, Castle on the Coast, the run after a hat in time, uh, unfortunately will not be happening, just so we can uh, put ourselves back on schedule and not have to worry that we are, you know, behind or anything. Uh, but yeah, that is all for now, unless you want me to keep on going for a moment. Uh, it's on, it's the even... We're, we're, we're still, like now he says die. We're not gonna die though. Unless I do stupid things and try to show off, which I'm not gonna do. So we're done. Uh, now we get the money. Here, take the money. You like it? Yes. Okay, cool. And now we're going into the club. So, and where, and there we need a VIP pass for. You saw that as well, it said VIP. But we don't have a VIP, oh crap, I screwed up. That was a two, uh, two million smackles drink. Yeah, um, yeah, they are not happy. They are oh, not no. happy, they are <laughs> not happy. And I cannot blame them. So, uh, yeah. The, and would you be angry if you paid like two million for a drink and then somebody just bumped into you and you dropped it? I think I would be pretty mad. Then again, I would not be spending two million on a drink, but th that's just me. I think at this point, it just depends on what two million is. Dollars? Tr uh, uh, smackles? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, how do you want to evaluate that in uh, real life money? If it's dollars, I'd be concerned. If it's Zimbabwe dollars, okay, maybe not. <laughs> so you see, it's just Numa using normal dodging, and now it's getting a little bit harder already. That's still nothing we cannot manage. And then at some point, we... Managed to break his sunglasses, or he gets too angry, and they break their sunglasses. I don't know why uh, the sunglasses get broken. There we go. And uh, uh, that, 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 that's not so good. We get him suddenly red attacks. But that's still nothing we cannot manage. So, uh, yeah, everything is fine here. So yeah, um, and the, oh no! 
Also, uh, you see these places. It doesn't look like we can jump into them. But you can actually jump into them and back if you are fast enough. See? I just did it. I did it again. And now we. this is our first level with a checkpoint. Do we need a checkpoint now? And now he's saying, well, you have not seen my famous Red Dead Marathon technique yet. So I'm going to be a bit, a bit scared of that. But uh, don't worry. M maybe we'll be just fine, you know? And fun fact is they start off with putting the sunglasses back up and just normal attacks. Because that makes sense in a uh, red marathon death technique or something like that. I don't know exact na name. I always confuse it. I know there's the word marathon and the word red in it. So that's about it. Uh, Chet, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and that you're uh, enjoying the event so far. I must say, I uh, really enjoy it here. Uh, both the runs that we had so far are amazing, as well as the venue, the people here. I love it. Also, I defeated Wallowster with bowling. <laughs> Way to rub it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were last. It was funny. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, at least you got over 100. We were doubting if you made it. Fair enough, fair enough. I, yeah. For a first time playing that game, that was all right by me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. As a matter of fact, do we have a moment for a few messages? In of the... course, go ahead. All right, then I can talk a little bit about ESA. You probably know them, you probably don't. So let me tell, tell uh, let me thank ESA specifically for supporting the event and for allowing us to stream on their channel. For information about their upcoming events and any changes due to COVID-19 uh, outbreak, be sure to check out ESAMarathon.com. I, I hope you all understand the reference for that. Uh, but I'd also uh, I'd like to entice you for a free monthly Prime Gaming subscription. You can use it right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to all the ESA emotes as well as several BSG emotes and you get to support both the events. So, by all means, if you have a Prime sub that you can use, why not? Back Wobble to you. Fat. Back to you, Clover. Why not Wobblefett? No, not yeah. Wobblefett? Ah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, there we go. Um, we exhausted them. So, uh, yeah. And um, yeah, if you can pay 2 million, you probably aren't VIP, so uh, we just taking that. And uh, we're giving this card to the VIP man, and he's like, Card good, taste bad. Yeah, don't don't eat the VIP cards, they don't taste well. So after this, we have to do a little bit, listen to the music and open the thing. But of course, I'm a speedrunner, I know the answer, and I'm putting anything wrong. And now we are fa fa found the one who... Uh, uh, it's purple pig? I don't, gold pig? I don't know what it, something pig. Uh, he ordered the blue gnome to steal our arm, but uh, we got tricked and now we can put into the incinerator and uh, People burn in incinerators and we are made of food. So uh, I don't think that goes well uh, So yeah, um Hmm How do we get out of this? Well, as long as there's no fire it should be good, right? Uh, oh hmm. That's that's not so lovely So, uh, welcome to Incinerator. Um, it consists of two parts. Uh, one part which is fully scripted, one part of which is not. Uh, but we have a solution for the second part, but you will see that later when we get to the second part. If I don't screw up. Uh. Oh, I screwed up. Oh no. Okay. Um, <laughs> that has never happened to, uh, 
practice before, so uh, <laughs> that's uh, that, that's gonna be a little bit oof. Uh, so normally there, there is the pattern we do there, um, and then we get to the second phase and we would uh, make the window smaller and pause for two minutes, three minutes. Um, sadly, since I was like, I'm confident enough, I'm not gonna save. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have to do op two optional fights. Uh, Estimate took account for that, just in case, but uh, mm, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I can at least say to Tech Tech, I'm not gonna make it minimized again because we don't have to anymore. <laughs> the sad part is I haven't practiced this fight in a while, so... Um, mm. I'm sure there is no problem with that, yeah? I'm sure Chad can give you their energy so you can actually do good in these fights. Right, Chad? <laughs> Well, at least enjoy in that case. Because it is canon that the first time you go through this, you fail. Because you don't know the pattern. And my controller is... Oh. One second. It uh, ate my controller input for one second. My bad. <laughs> Well, at, at least I gave you two more cool songs to listen to, Chad, so I hope you're happy with that. It, it's a, it's a win-lose situation. So, another category I run for this game is all fights. And then we intentionally get hit immediately in the incinerator. Uh, because... Um, why is that again? Um, all fights doesn't consider the incinerator a fight, but it does consider these two things a fight. Also, um, this this pink per thing, uh, totally not relevant. Uh, just think that we would normally skip this fight, yeah? So, uh, uh, not important. Also, this game is pretty... Um, lenient with how quick you can dodge, as you can see, I'm looks like I'm almost hitting it, but I can still dodge it, which becomes relevant in harder fights where you just actually have to dodge on the spot and actually dodge, not hit, get hit like that. Well, this was uh, the first one. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know which one of the two inputs I have to do later. I know there comes an input and I, it doesn't matter if I do right or left, but apparently whatever I do gives me more text. And more text is uh, not something we want. Also, I don't know if you heard the phrase follow the white rabbit. Uh, yeah, that phrase is also kind of important in this game. Also, look. It's a gnome. Hello. I want everybody at some point they're gonna jump to the right and to the left. I want everybody to join. Yes. Oh, that was it. There you go. Wasn't that so hard? <laughs> like I said, it can get pretty image insen uh, sensitive. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to skip this fight. It uh, gets pretty terrible at some point. So don't get scared by the person uh, that that face. It's totally not going to do anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. 
It's fine. Everything is fine. We got everything under control in here. Is this you? Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay, so here are actually the developers of this game. Um, displayed in game. Chris and Jordi. Um, they are the pre they made a pretty cool community uh, with our game. And um, yeah, I must say they also were very supportive for the speedrunning. They uh, made um, a few beta versions, uh, a beta version and um, um, a few other versions available for us to just install right off from Steam. And then we realized that those were not the correct versions to run on for us, so we still used our own methods. But at least they put some effort into it for us, and we really appreciate it. So I want to thank them for just making this amazing game and just doing that in general. So, uh, we are spacing out right now. At some point, my controls are gonna get flipped, I know. And if I just stand still somewhere, I should be good. I don't know where, though. You... Oh, wait, no, we normally... Collect orbs only, right? Oh well, cubes are fine. So now my controls are flipped, but if I stand in the middle, I should be good. Okay, oh. <laughs> okay we're good, we're good, we're good. Now the universe is gonna talk to us. And it asks us if we want to know the truth or something, but uh. No, we don't really need that. Also, I don't know what it says anyway now. Oh, also, now we woke up in an incinerator. Yay! Okay, just pretend that I, I actually succeeded and that not screw up. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so now, actually, the blue gnome got left behind. Uh, the gold pig stole the arm and took his legs as well so now we're like oh we feel sorry for him and we just take him with us otherwise this door doesn't let us go anyway so now we're going mario kart what mario kart we were playing everywhere right yes but i i just actually uh, installed my uh, mario kart dot exe and uh, now we're gonna play mario kart So I hope you're ready for that now. Actually, we need to do an obligated uh, race, so to speak. So we're gonna do that. Also love that how the sprites get uh, clipped on the bottom. So um, yeah, your casual three rounds race. Oh, are you ready for it? Here we Go. And we start at place 20, of course, because why wouldn't we? So, uh, the, some of these turns are getting pretty sharp, mostly the next one. 
If I don't start at this part. There you go. Yeah, I, I can make the turn easily now. There you go. So 126 is the uh, max speed which we can have. And the starting speed we can have can vary. So there are also individual runs for this game. And this is one of them, of course. This part. And uh, yeah, it's totally hardware related and that kind of stuff. What your starting speed is, uh, all kinds of factors, it's super weird. Also, they, uh, Rashla, uh, not Rashla Beast. I, I don't know exactly what, what these two are again, but they warn us, watch out, sick. You know, the VIP dude. Yeah, they play dirty. So uh, yeah, let, let's see how dirty they play. Oh no, they throw something at our screen. Now we cannot see it. But we are experienced drivers, so we know exactly what to do. So we're gonna run, drive out of here, but uh, still inbounds, so to speak. So uh, we find it. Now we're just uh, first place. Man, I love getting in first place. So uh, yeah, but we, but still we have to finish one more lap. So uh, we just gotta have to do that. Turn again. Beautiful. We're going to the right again. To the left, to the right, then to the left once more, and to the right again. Wow. It's just like how we do it in real life, right? Okay, so I barely made it there. If I was going out a little bit more, I would have gotten a slowdown. Would have sucked, but no. Well. And one more turn after this, and then we should be done. Yeah. And then we have. Oh, well, that's our time. So world record, I don't think so. But uh, oh well, we're first, and that's what matters. Not for this speed run, but it matters. Matters to me. So, uh, yeah, we, we could be getting a golden trophy now, but uh, we couldn't care less, so we're not going to pick it up. Instead, we're going back from where we came from. Uh, this looks like the uh, entry, right? Yeah, this is where we entered. Oh, uh, this was not where we entered, apparently. Hmm, I wonder where we go now. We dropped down. Oh no. So we're taking that eye. Totally not a ball. Or glass ball. I spoiled it. It's an eye. Hey, here is an uh, green mage. Oh no. I want to give you your eye back. Oh, there we go. We take his eye. And it's like, what should I do with this block? Push it, bend it over. Now nah, I'm gonna transform it into a pot. And then we're like, we're gonna escape. And he's like, well, no, I work for Goldpick, so I cannot really let you go. So, uh, we're gonna fight. And they introduce uh, notes which do more than 40% damage. Which I'm not gonna show you, but the skill and the. Uh, the weirdly shaped uh, ground parts, which you're gonna, this ones, which are also kind of like skill formed, those deal 60 damage. So if you get hit twice by those, you in die instead of getting hit by normal mode, which takes three times till you die. There we go. That fight done. Hi. Then the little blue gnome is like, what a weird dude. Follow the white rabbit. Follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. 
following it. I'm trying to follow it. I'm going down here. To the right, right. Wow, oh, the arrow. Well, maybe you should follow the arrow then, I guess. Follow the rabbit, follow the rabbit, follow the... Oh, I got caught. I got caught. Yeah, we're stuck. Hey, look, it is Prof. Vexter, Dr. Eggman. It's not really his name, by the way, but we like to call him that. Kind of looks like it, don't you think? A well, little bit, right? Yeah. I see it. The mustache is uncanny. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is Grundle. He's taking us. Um, are we dead? I don't know. Guess we have to see. Okay, so there is some trick here where I can walk in the dark. As you can see, ah, uh, uh, where am I? Okay, there you go. And I should be in the Gundam Grandal fight already. Oh, I screwed up. But you, you saw me move in the in the cutscene already, or at least the camera move. Uh, you can just pick the gnome up and go to Grandal right away and start the fight early. But my movement was a little bit uh, terrible, so. Well, it wouldn't be the first time this run, my movement wouldn't be optimal. Uh, oh well, you just gotta have to make the best out of it, I guess. And uh, Grandal also has amazing sounds. Also, you'll see me this, do this perfect dodges. Which I kinda need at some point in this fight to actually do. Also, flashing again. A little bit too late, but... Well, now we have an, a little bit easy again. And I'd like to make some more spin jumpies. We exhausted Grundal. I and then we walk up. So we're gonna fight this creation of Dr. Eggman. And this is gonna be the longest fight in the game, guys. So be prepared. Be prepared for it. It's gonna be a very long fight. And it's done. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> so, you see now there are stacks on the screen. But in older versions, we can actually just walk while there are stacks on the screen. Um, so, you don't wonder, why don't you not press it right now? Well... Now, I got stuck. And I cannot move anyway, so I just mesh the text now, then it meshes the next tech, text. And then we're going into the next fight. Which is just like Incinerator and Dodger uh, in the overworld, so to speak. And I have never done this hitless in my practice run Thursday. I got past the hard part and then got hit by something easy, and I was like, no! So I'm gonna try to do it hitless this time. Probably not succeed, but oh well, we can hope. We cannot hope. I already got hit. Big F's in the chat. So 
So that was supposed to be the easy part. When you should not get hit. Oh well. So this is actually the only part that is hard to dodge, normally. Because here you can just stand on the edge. And the lights go out. So the sad part is I got past this all last time and then I got hit in this part, which was really sad. But oh, nothing to be done about that. And now we're done. So that was the fight with Eggman by Eggman. It was nice knowing you. I think his room name is Dr. Orange, but oh well. Eggman sounds better. If, we, if, we, if we're taking Mario Kart, we're also taking Sonic into that equation, right? Okay, so now we collected the door piece. That's going to be relevant later. And now we're going to get into a cutscene again. We're going to look back or look towards Vault Pack. Don't ask me how we can do this. And then he senses that we are watching him, so he's aborting, or he's like disconnecting us from the Skype call. It's like, bye, you're not allowed in this Skype call. <laughs> or uh, actually, I should say Discord call right away, right? This, this nowadays. Okay, so uh, I, Paul is there. Do you, have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons before? Actually, I'm part of a campaign right now, so yeah, I've played okay. my fair share. So um, we're also gonna be part of a campaign. Oh my god, I'm excited. I, I didn't bring my dice. Is that a problem? Um, as long as you have a sword, you should be fine. Uh, I have a phone. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, so now we're suddenly all friends, and... Uh, we... Um, the green mage is gonna be our dungeon master. Also, I'm wearing a shirt of the Everwood game. And uh, a fight we're gonna see later into the Dungeons & Dragons section. So that's uh, the sword we're going to use, and it's the sword that deflects red attacks. Look at that mushroom being happy. Okay, we're getting the sword. Wow. <gasps> wow. Oh no! This is no good. How are you gonna do this? It's a goblin or something. You're basic the Indian furniture. Okay, so we can use this to use our swords. Okay. So it's just um, hitting the red attacks. Not missing them like I did. Okay, so now we're on our quest to defeat the evil mage. And we're going to there. While we're on our way there, do we have time for a few messages, actually? Um, give me a quick second. Sure uh, can to do. go into this next boss, uh, which is, you, you know what this dude looks like, a heavy rock metal dude. I think we're, we're gonna have a pumped up music battle. Look at that build up, that build up, yeah. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do something with his sword probably, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is gonna be epic, this is gonna be epic, this is gonna be so epic. Um, 
This is Jess. Okay. Well, anyway, while I'm trying to kill, uh, kill him, um, go ahead and read a few messages. All right. I'd just like to remind our audience here in chat and in Alpha on the Rhine, we are raising money for Mind, which is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues and to support everyone who is dealing with mental issues themselves or within their family. All of your donations will be going to Mind. And might I say, in every region of the world, mental disorders surpass 10% of the population. Governments seem to lack momentum in reducing the burden of mental health problems, as only 55% have mental health awareness and only 8% have suicide prevention plans. Organizations like Mind help raise awareness to the issue, helping us get one step closer to a world where everyone gets the help they need. Thank you all for helping us raise 142 euros so far, but let's keep those donations coming so that we can raise money for such an incredible cause. Back to you, Clover. Oh, well, uh, now we're gonna end the swamp land of chaos. But people are being annoying, so they're like, no, okay, DM changed it, now it's the bad land of chaos. Deal with it. And as you can see, it's pretty empty because they didn't prepare to make this change suddenly. And to t skip the text box, no biggie though. Also, um, Isaac, hi, he's fine, he's fine, it, it, it doesn't matter. So yeah, in early versions, we could actually skip that battle by just going a little bit more to the left than intended. They fix that later, which is good. But uh, not so good for speedruns. So, uh, yeah, that's why we run on this version. So, um, yeah. We didn't really talk about one of the NPCs yet. Assembly. Uh, but, uh, uh, they got captured. Uh, oh, the evil mage. Look, it's him. Let's see if I can get a quick kill or not. I hope. Well, or I get killed, you know, that's also an option, I guess. So the quick kill we get if we get mult hit multiple targets there in that little section. But it's a little bit finicky. So if you not do it correctly, you get hit like I did. gonna risk it anymore I I don't think I'm going for the quick kill it, it's fine yeah I'm not going for that's okay so that if we got it for this section it's good because now there comes a part where we can just not hit them but it's fine I guess just enjoy more of the sun. There you go. So if at some point we just didn't manage to defeat them on time, uh, that should be breaks free. And uh, they help us. I smack the evil mage down. And look how happy they're gonna be together now. So, then we have plan. He opened a cuphead shop 
Then we have Sick. Who is us gonna more adventuring? And then we have Nosferatu was going on a fruitful quest to uncover the secrets of his past. If I remember correctly. Don't 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 pin pinpoint me on that one. So anyway, uh, we we completed D and D. Yay! What is our reward? An other door piece. Door pieces somehow seem relevant in this game. Now we're going to the next area, which is the castle. And now we're gonna do a small trick, which is called Instacart. And how that works is when we load into a zone and transition, we get put on a certain pixel. Um, that's right in front of the minecart we need to in go into. So if I spam left and the a image the A button, uh, I actually just go onto the minecart right away, and that saves me a little bit of time. And then, uh, small cutscene. Now, this is a minecart. This is actually here. This is one of the only levels that you decide how fast you go. Because if I wouldn't, if I would stop hitting the buttons, I'm just not going for it anymore. Also, if I get hit, I cannot activate the button for a few seconds. So I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Gets hit instantly when I say it. I'll always love it to see that. And we can see the white light. Oh no. Oh no, I can see the end of the tunnel. No! There you go. So that was the minecart. Um, so next up, we need a um, uh, very long plank uh, to get past the gap, which is pretty wide. But in order to get the uh, to be used in uh, very long planks, we need to have a certificate first. But we don't have a certificate to get a very long uh, to use very long planks. Polystar, do you have that certificate, perhaps? I d don't understand what. <laughs> like we need a very long plank license to use a very long plank, but I don't have it. Do you have it? I. Oh my god, I left it back home. Ah, well, Three damn. hour train ride. I, I can't. Yeah, well, it's too late. <laughs> well, I guess I have just. I have to earn it myself then, I guess. I guess so. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Also, lovely detail. When the Flan plays, which is the blue the guy, there are blue notes. When uh, Muck, I want to say, plays, the green notes are getting there. So it's a little detail. Just maybe you saw it already, but I was like, let me just point it out. It's those little details that make this game just so amazing. So anyway, uh, we we did it. We are certified. <laughs> C diploma, only we are not allowed to take it because they only have one of them. Because they had two, but Polish left his one at home. I mean, I could go. If you, I could go get it. <laughs> I'll just be back in six hours, that's all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have a moment for a donation, actually, while yeah, sure. we're at it. Okay, so we have eight euros from Naomi, our last runner. And, and she's saying, this game looks great. It is only appropriate we hit that 150 euros during this awesome run. Hi, everyone at BSG. I'm enjoying myself here. Runner can put this donation to any incentive they like. Thank you, Naomi. And indeed, we've hit 150 euros. Hype! Woo! Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Clover, we can arrange after the run where you want to put the money. Yeah, that sounds good. By the way, this is a maze. Um, if we work on certain, walk a certain pattern, we don't encounter the maze monster. And I'm now out of the maze because I needed a key. Glass key, by the way. That's that's gonna be important. Because uh, glass can break. Well, multiple things can break. Oops, I broke it. Oh, but I opened it, so it's fine, I guess. 
But here we... No, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> here we have to walk around it. Then we need to go up. Then we need to go in the middle. Then we need to go to, the, to this one again. Uh, hey, another door piece. Yeah. Mind if I take it? Nah. <laughs> So now we activate this mirror by talking to the left, talking to the right, talking to the middle. Don't ask me why this works, it's it's just how, how it is. Also, you can see it's not displayed as red, it's displayed as question mark, question mark, question mark. It's some somebody else or something else is talking to us. I don't know what. Or do I? Oh, well, we will find out. Or not. So we collected three pieces. Um... Does that mean I can summon Exodia? I don't think so, but uh, maybe I can make a door out of it. Doors! Um, yeah, welcome to the most boring part of the game. Uh, walking forward for five minutes. That sounds like my cue to read a lot of messages in that case. <laughs> yes, yes, please do. All right, let's talk a little bit. Well, first of all, a little bit of context here. We are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. We're currently doing our events on site again. And let me remind you, it is good to be back seeing people face to face. Most certainly, most certainly. And we are streaming from the eSports Game Arena in Alphen on the Rhein in the Netherlands. Uh, we want to thank ESA for supporting the event and for allowing us to stream on their channel. For information about their upcoming events and any changes due to the COVID-19 outbreak, be sure to check out esamarathon.com. You can uh, consider using your free monthly Prime Gaming subscription right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to all the ESA emotes as well as several BSG emotes. And you get to support both the events. So if you have a free Twitch Prime subscription, hey, why, why not? Why not? And I, I will say it took me too long to get the why not Wubba Fett joke you mentioned earlier. So oh, not really? <laughs> oh. Somebody in chat had to spell it out for me quite literally. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, as we say. Uh, but it is looking kind of fun. Oh, yeah. And my finger on the <laughs> D-pad, I guess. At least it's not a desert bus. <laughs> we have to press right sometimes. Uh, okay, let me continue then. We want to thank Weilich Reservieren for offering BSG a ticketing system for our events. Weilich Reservieren uh, is a Dutch ticketing system offering a back-end system for a variety of events. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for donating. Clover, I think you have something to explain here. So, back um, to you. Yeah, th this person wants us to... Okay, so the first time we should encounter them, we skipped it with Instacart. But they're like, stop! I will stop you if you continue! I really mean it! And they're like, we're going into the fight! But as soon as we're they are too tired, so they just get smaller and... Don't ask me why. Also, um, um, here is a monster truck in the sand. We can get this battery, which we need in all fights. But we're not doing all fights, we're doing pacifists, so uh, we're not getting it. The achievement when we get this battery is, you bastard! I, I hope people get that reference. You bastard! You killed the monster truck! <laughs> I have chat open right now, so if somebody gets it, I'll know. <laughs> so, um... Later in this castle thing, we're gonna do a skip. Uh, you might ask, but Clover, why are you gonna do first do a fight, and why do you not do the skip immediately? Well, uh, in order to trigger pacifist, we need to defeat... Uh, there need to be 30 souls in the game. And currently, uh, there are only 28. And how that, that happened, you might ask? Well, how, how do we get to 30? Well, we'll see right now. Look, it is a soul. And it, get, it gets back, left, back to life. <laughs> But now you're like, Clover, this is 29. Yeah, okay, so fun fact. Uh, Purple Mage actually summoned two people, or two persons, back to this realm. Instead of one. Not, not their intention. 
But uh, hey, not our intention either, so we're just gonna ignore the second person. So this is uh, Rob the zombie. Uh, uh, no, sorry, Zob the zombie. Um, very fitting name. So um, the other person who got resummoned is Rob. Do you want to guess what Rob is? Do you know it, Palliser, or not? Nope. <laughs> Do you want to take a quick shot in the dark? Uh, big spaghetti ball. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. It's a skeleton. <gasps> Shocking. Very spooky, I know. Too spooky for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna have to do a trick, which is literally pixel per. Now, not not 100% pixel perfect, but it's pretty close to that. So we're just having to. So we walk there, yeah. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got the first try. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, there's Rob. Hi, Rob. So, uh, yeah, there we skipped uh, two fights, actually. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna get the... Well, my arm back and Blue Gnome's uh, feet. Uh, so yeah, get get ready to get defeated, feet at golf back. Also, I want you to look at his me uh, medallions and uh, the notes that are displaying. See, the blue uh, lights up when he summons blue notes. Also, I'm not sure if there should be text there. If they did not implement it in that this version yet, but oh well. Like this, like here. So you might have also seen throughout the run, we have like two different types of notes. One of which are like black colored with an with an color, and and ones that are like white slash colored in like these notes you see right now. That will become relevant soon. Also, look, that's the the pink dude again, which totally not important for our story whatsoever. And everybody who says otherwise is a liar. If we're talking about pacifists, that is. Bum, bum. So, Polestar, do you have any siblings? Um, unfortunately, I am a lone child. What do you ask? Okay, so you, do you know the stereotype that siblings sometimes just fight and they're like, Mom, person, uh, my sister, my brother took this from me. Mom. Well, I've, I've, I've seen it happen, actually, with some of my cousins that have siblings. So. <laughs> okay, so keep that in mind uh, because it's going to be relevant Literally in a few seconds, when this fight is over. 
All right, let's make it happen. Okay, so we defeated Goldpick, and that means that he is going to have to f give us our feedback, right? But he says, no, I'm not going to give you feedback. And then Blue Gnome is like, good, give me my feedback. And then Purple Mage and Green Mage are coming like, give him his feedback. Don't be annoying. Give him his feedback. And the Blue Gnome is like, give me my feedback. And then the, the gold pick is like, okay, fine. So that's very sibling-like. Like, mom, dad, he's bullying me. Give back my stuff. So he got back his feet. And now we can back, get back our arm. Which is down the hallway in the next room. So uh, yeah, that was, that was our goal all wrong, right? Uh, getting our arm. We're gonna get it. We're almost there. We're almost finally there. We're almost done with the run. We didn't kill anybody. We couldn't actually have kill anybody. Why would we kill? Killing is uh, no, 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 not good. There's the purple person again. Now it has a second arm. I don't know. It's not relevant. Um. Credits. Let's go. Woo! Nice. Well, that was uh, was a fun run. Don't you think? Yeah, that was that that was great. Why do I feel like this is a fake ending? <laughs> what? No. What are you talking about? Look at the, the credits. Look real. Look, look, look! Uh. Uh. Oh. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love your games with fake endings, right? Absolutely. Love so, it. So, look, it's the tutorial dude again. Hmm. Should we get another tutorial? Maybe. So. Actually, the power to our arm, they didn't took it for a, uh, for no reason. They took it for a certain reason. Our arm can be used to liberate people or souls from this place. They are all trapped in here. And now we get in a tutorial on how to use our hand. So, you need to collect two of the same color with X. And shoot. Okay. So we didn't kill him. Uh, we don't need to um, kill him. We're not doing the killing. So now we know how to deli uh, liberate people by killing them. But best offense means no killing. So we're not gonna kill. And uh, some spirits and other things are not happy that we're not gonna kill. Which we will soon find out. So the spirits I was talking about, which we didn't see throughout the game, but normally would are here and they're like yes you can finally liberate them please liberate them from their place and now we're going back to the mushroom village Okay, so they're like, so you're, you're coming here to kill me? And then it's like, yes. And then it's like, are you really going to kill me? And they were like, no. And it's like, okay, bye. Which is uh, faster. And now the spirits come back and like, please, you have to liberate and go back. And we're like, no, we're stubborn. We don't want to kill anything. Then we get stopped again by a different one, which just play, please. 
please. And we're still not listening to them. And then, I don't know if you saw it earlier, there was where, where the uh, frog was standing. It was around there. A door appeared now. I wonder who is behind the door. Okay, so before we go into the fight, I want to specify one thing. Killing, this, the, uh, killing here or not killing here does not matter and will result in the same outcome. Therefore, if we kill him, it still counts as pacifist, even if we don't agree with that. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to uh, the final battle. I'm not going for these pillars. Let me just take a chill. to keep very focused. So now we're getting in a part where I cannot do anything and I don't think I have put in down enough to get the second part to kill. I could have killed him here before he reaches this part, but I have to do very optimal movement. And sadly, I don't just don't know the route. Uh, but it's fine. We're just gonna I, we're just gonna listen to this uh, sound and just finish it. Now it's time. Let's go! Three, two, one, go! Okay, that's set. Uh, luckily, we have a checkpoint after the guitar section. 
Also, the health bar reset, so now we can't really not quick kill him anymore. You can see, there you go, his health bar is full. This is, uh... Ouch. <laughs> you can do it! Chad. Chad, give Clover your energy. Let's see those emotes. Give me full health back, please! Please! That was the end. That was <laughs> the end. Ah... <gasps> uh... I think I'm not gonna be able to do it anymore. I'm just gonna, I don't know how much time we have, but I'm gonna just gonna say, after this fight, it's done anyway. I you think have we have three minutes left, I can tell you. Okay, that's one attempt. That's one more attempt. All right. We're gonna make it count, chat. Chat is giving that energy. People are jamming to the music. There's like that's, that's the only good side. It's the banner of a song, so you get to enjoy it more. Is this situation a little bit stressful? I don't sense no stress. I am stressed. Yeah, no. It's it's not gonna be it today, guys. I'm uh, I'm gonna call it a run. I'm gonna run. I'm, uh, what happens after this is we defeat them. Uh, they get sent back by the universe. And then the universe says, come back when you've decided to liberate everybody. And then we get credits. Anyway, this was Afrohood. I hope you enjoyed it. I gave you two extra songs. I gave you a lot more of the ending song. Sadly, couldn't finish it yet. But it, I, it doesn't feel like I'm going to succeed anymore today. So That uh, is A-OK. -okay. Everybody, give Clover a round of applause for a valiant effort here.
The run may not be done, but that was that sure was a showing. Uh, any last words you have here before I take it away? Different community in general. Uh, we broke this game down uh, very hard. Uh, I want to take the makers, Chris and Jordy, and uh, I want to thank Twitch for being there, being awesome, giving me the energy, and uh, BSG for having me here. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So. Thank you very much, Clover, for that amazing Everhood run. Coming up next, we have A, ha a Hat in Time by Casito. So, yeah, we're going to go to a quick intermission in a moment, but I should probably mention that is going to be the end of my hosting shift. It has been lovely being back here in person with all of these amazing people. Taking from my spot will be Kathil. So, of course, uh, give her all the love. But in the meantime, we're going to have a quick outbreak, and we'll be right back.